What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden, age what, 60? He's just gonna break bad? What's happening, man? Knowledge, knowledge. What's going on, brother? Uh, I watch your show, and um, I'm very, I, I respect, I respect what you're doing, and I respect the fact that you have not sold out. And, you know, I saw your, uh, I watch all your podcasts, and they're very informative. And I just want to say that you're a very ethical and professional brother. And I like that. I really like that. And I support you 100%. And I just want to say um, fair use. If I uh, mention any videos or any other uh, commentary that I have witnessed um, in, in, in the course of our conversation, sir. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Not a problem, man. I do appreciate all that. Sheed in the building. <laughs> Thank you very much, man. I, you know what? I, <laughs> you're persistent. <laughs> you I, get, know, I, I give yeah, you that. I, I, right I give you that. <laughs> I give you I'm that. Pulled, I'm pulled over right now. I'm on my way to Minnesota to um, uh, drop off this load. I'm a little late because, um, you know, the, uh, the, the, the uh, safety people edited mm -hmm. my clock or whatever. And I got a little write up because um, I didn't go on duty when I was supposed to be, when I fueled up at the fuel station. So they, the lady called me up and, and gave me a warning. She was like, okay, mm -hmm. we're going to warn you. Mm -hmm. We're going to warn you. And this is a warning. And then hours after that, I get a thing uh, on, on the computer saying that uh, I got to sign this thing and everything. And they wrote me up for that. I'm like, oh, oh okay. 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 And hold, then, hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, bro. Uh, uh, I mean, we, we jump in. We we going to jump into it, but bro, uh, you okay? So you 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 drive for a company that's uh, I I, I want to say that mirrors mine because they're they're pretty strict on uh, the HOS as well. Um, yeah, you know, but I'm but going they, to a 1099. I'm about to drop this truck off, man. I'm going to 1099 because I want to own my own truck. And I got all of my um, fiduciary matters in order. So oh, okay, that's what's up. All right, yeah. that's what's up. But, um, all right, so you, I so, wanted to talk to you about about that podcast you made about the CCW. Okay, okay, yeah. okay go ahead. Okay, so I, I listened to that podcast, and it's full con uh, context. And this is what this is the little secret. Okay, and it's not really a real secret, but then again, it. With a little research, you'll see that what I'm telling you, is what I'm about to tell you is true. Now, this is fair use, okay? Fair Go use. Go ahead. There is a video uh, by a gentleman by the name of, uh, his name is Yusuf L. And he has a chan channel called High Frequency Radio. And he released a video and it's called the Do Not Detain List. Okay. And it's talking about a re re receiving or filling out for a passport as a citizen national. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a citizen national is, is a person that is a person that was born in the United States in a particular state. And they are a citizen of that state, not a citizen of the United States mm -hmm. in Washington, D.C., which is a corporate entity in itself. So if you are a United States citizen, if you are claiming to be a United States citizen, you are operating by a social security number, which is constituted as a slave. Okay. Mm. So with this video, the do not detain list, he tells you how to fill out the, the passport form and every, you check off, you're not a United States citizen on everything, but you put your social security number on there. If you don't, then you will be denied. But to make a long story short, I followed that process, and now I I am a citizen national. I have my passport and passport card and everything, and it it also states on the video that once you receive your passport as a citizen national, you have a lifetime permit to carry a firearm, a lifetime permit to carry a concealed firearm. That in, comes along with becoming a citizen national on the passport. In any state, check out that video. In any Go state, ahead. regardless of the laws of that state, it's a federal. It's a federal ID. It is from the Department of State. 
as in any state. You have a right to defend yourself. Right. But you don't have a right to be going around and just starting trouble with people right. and stuff like that. And anybody that goes around. Yes, it is. A, it is a, the passport is a federal document. It's coming from the Department of State. And when you become a citizen national through the, the process of gaining your citizen national passport, you are in actuality a citizen of all of the United States. Okay. So with that CCW, the concealed carry uh, permit under, under the, um, the passport, you are allowed to carry in every state. But that doesn't mean you're going to get the big head and go around, you know, advertising or putting yourself on the grid like that because you, you know, you, you bring attention to yourself. You'll be arrested. You know what I'm saying? You know, some people, some people are not responsible enough, you know, to have those type of documents. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, as a result of me becoming a citizen national and, and receiving, you know, um, my citizen national passport, I've also received my quick card. You know, I have a lot of access now. So where you know, do, it has opened up a lot of doors for me. Sir. So, so but, where do you where where do you go to apply for a citizen national passport? Right, that's the that's the that's the engine humming. That's okay. You know, what I'm saying I just had to you know cue you up and everything. But um, I just want to say, I, I just want to say this, man. That again, I respect everything that you're doing. I love how you stay on code, no matter what. I love your professionalism, and I love your ethics. And I need for you to keep doing what you're doing because you're blessed. You know, you have been commissioned by the Most High to do what you're doing. This is why you got that platform, and you're going to remain blessed. So may the, may the Most High bless your hands your soul and everything that you're doing, brother. I, 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 I appreciate you. I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. All right. So let's get back at it, yes, man. Sir. You was, um, let's where, get back at it. where we left off at you, you was talking about, uh, Oh, Oh, uh, okay. where we can get, okay. so, where we can get the, uh, right. citizen national passport. Okay. I sent you some links. I sent you some links so that you could be briefed on the procedures and the protocols of doing that. And I, uh, let me say this, right. When you become a citizen national, a non-citizen national, I should have to say, is that it's a frame of mind. In other words, now you're operating in the private. You're no longer a public individual. However, when you're operating a commercial vehicle, you're in the public sector. So there's a way that you have to conduct yourself. You have to conduct yourself in the most professional, professional manner. You know, you don't go around bragging and and showing off and stuff like that. We don't, you know, a private individual, we, we private individuals and not citizen nationals, we don't do that. You know, we don't go around advertising anything. We're private individuals. You know, we don't, we don't, yeah, but, we don't, we don't, we but, don't cause controversy. Now, let me but, ask you this, man. Now, now I, I hear what you're saying, but you know, a lot, it's unfortunate that it's a lot of uh, uh, social media drivers out there. That's all they do is yeah. brag. They they come they come on. They show their weapon. They 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 talk about yeah. you know show pictures right. of their weapons in their trucks. They even make yeah. uh, videos of them holding their weapons in their truck. You know, oh my I'm not gonna There's you know I'm not gonna fall victim to nobody out here. Yeah. Yada yada yada. Oh my god! So yeah, it's a sign of immaturity. It's immaturity, you know, and it's you're bringing attention unnecessary attention to yourself. From the, uh, the, 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 the the law, the law, the law, which I call them foreign agents because they're foreign agents. Because when you take an oath of office, uh, you become you have to you have to fill out a, a document called a certificate of foreign a foreign agent, an application as a foreign agent. Because when you take an oath of office, you renounce your citizenship. So all all law enforcement officials, police officers. Mayors, judges, uh, lawyers, district attorneys, uh, politicians, they're not United States citizens. They are foreign agents. They are, and so when they deal with you, when the law deals with you, they deal with you according to your social security number. They deal with you as a public entity, as a public entity. They, and so and what, they are, what they always try to do is established jurisdiction over you by asking you for an address or a phone number that links you to that social security number. They can even link you to that 
to, to they can also gain jurisdiction on you by your license plate. So let's say, you know, this again, this is why I say you don't draw public controversy to yourself in any form or fashion. Now, let's say I'm driving a private vehicle, if I'm driving a, 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 a car, you know, not a CMV. Uh, I have license plates with all zeros on it, state license plates with all zeros on it, because when they run it, you know, they cannot establish any jurisdiction over you. And so, like, let's say I get pulled over by the police. I'm going to give them the passport card, and it's going to say, do not detain, uh, do not question, let go, lifetime permit to carry a firearm. But you would still have to show them your driver's license when you show that, right? No, you don't got to. No, no. I, again, I briefed you. I've sent you link. You do not have to show a driver's license, okay? You have a right to travel, okay? You don't need a license to travel, okay? However, if you're operating a commercial motor vehicle, you have to be licensed, and you have to have a CDL, okay? So now you're operating in the public capacity. So there's a way to conduct yourself. You have to be able to separate yourself between the public and the private. I look, I give a perfect scenario. Look at Batman. Okay. By night, he's the crime fighter. He's Batman. He puts on his uniform. He's got his mask on. He's Batman. You don't know who he is. By day, he's Bruce Wayne. You know, the public individual, you know, running um, uh, Wayne Corporation, whatever. Okay. And, and, and I liken it to that type of scenario. When you're operating in the public, you have to operate legitimately, logically, and stay on code, and do not do everything in your power not to offend anyone, or the foreign agents will accost you, and they will attempt to establish jurisdiction on you. So what about so so, so what about companies? Uh, what okay? So once oh, we get okay, once, I'm once we you, get, I'm glad you. Asked. But once once we glad get. You yeah, once once we get the uh once we get that what you're what you're saying to get, once we get uh, that, yes, what do exactly what exactly where you're going with it. What <laughs> what about ahead. the what about the companies though? Because they put it in their all policies right, all right. that we're not allowed right, to carry sir. on or or have all right, sir. So again, know. again, sir. All right, I'm glad you asked that. Here we go with this, okay? So I'm gonna say this, right? So when you sign on with a company, okay? First of all, let's get the financial matters out the, out the way. There are three forms that you're going to file when you go with the um, the, uh, the the, the, corp, the uh, a corporation that you may go with. Okay, number one, the W four B, the W four P, not mistaken, and the W eight B E N. This right here says that you don't take taxes out of your money and everything. And then when you do the I-8 form, the I-9 form, rather, you're going to say that you are non-citizen national. They're going to accept it, okay? So now you show your commercial license and everything. You get the job. Listen, your right to carry a personal firearm as a citizen national, as a non-citizen national, is your business, Okay. It's up to you how you're going to operate. Now, if you tell them that, you know you're not going to get the job. You know that. But rather, you know, you want to protect yourself out in these roads because, you know, you could get you could get out in rural areas and it can really get ugly out here. It can really get ugly. You know what I mean? You can get around. Um, but, if, you know, when you're out here on these roads, it can get particularly dangerous when you're in rural areas and you got to shut down the truck. So, you know, that's, that, that is your private business. You're a private individual. Now, when you're working for the company, yes, you're working for the company, but you have a right to protect yourself, but you don't have to advertise that. You know, again, like you said, you know, you got people out here, they're showing off and uh, they're bringing nothing but attention to themselves. You know, what's your business is your business. I have a right to protect myself. I'm not going to tell them, you know, that, I, that I'm carrying and anything like that. I'm not going to say that, you know what I mean? But I'm going to operate there. I I I mean I that's like like I said I'd rather I'd rather be judged by twelve than carried by that's six. Right. You know that's right. I mean I I would rather I I would rather have it on me than not to have it on me. That's a, you know what I'm a saying. Bird but in the hand and, is better than two in the bush. But but <laughs> what I'm saying better to have and not need than the need and not have. Go right. <laughs> but what I'm what I'm saying is is like you know it's is it's in the company policy. 
for us, yes. you know, for us not to have it, you know. And if anything that's does, why, that's why I'm going ten ninety nine. That's if why any, I'm going ten ninety nine. If any, yeah. if anything does happen, uh, does happen to us, and you know, unfortunately, that we use it. I mean, it's cool that the only thing that's going to happen to us with on the company side is, yeah, we we just get lose fired. that. You know, we just get fired, but we still here. <laughs> you know what I'm you saying? Lie. We I'm are, alive. We're alive. <laughs> so, but alive. but as far as getting the, what what is it called again? Because I'm 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 following you, but I'm still trying to piece it together in my mind you, because I'm just I'm, trying to piece it together in your mind. Okay, yes, sir. It's called the non citizen nationals passport. Non citizen okay? national passport. Passport. And yes, with and with yes, that sir. passport, I am. Uh, I, I don't need to get my actual CCW if I go no. that route and getting getting that. No, no, you can go and when you when you fill out this when you fill out that the uh, the, the uh, form the firearm transfer form you're going to put in that you are a non citizen national and if they say you know where were you born or your state of your your country of citizenship can you hear me still? Yeah, I got you. I got you. You're gonna say that you are you were you are no your this your citizenship is in America or the United States of America. Okay. And if they ask you if you ever renounced your citizenship, you're gonna say no. You never renounce your citizenship. No. If you don't put your social security number on the form, you don't do that. Mm. You know, you put your address and everything. And when you put your address, you know, make sure you put brackets around your um, zip code. Okay. Because that what that does is it takes you out of the jurisdiction. You know of the military, uh, military uh, maritime jurisdiction. Go ahead. Oh, okay, so so the so the put it all in the brass tass for the drivers out here. That's you know that's wondering whether or not that they can carry or not legally. Repeat that again. Sorry about that. I, I said wait, wait, for, repeat, repeat that again. Repeat I, that again. I, I said for the brass tass of everything for the drivers that's thinking about. Or that need that's thinking about you know carrying, and not to worry about the laws of the state. Basically, what they can do is just get the non-national, non-citizen, non-citizen national, and they'll be good uh -huh. throughout all the states that they drive through. Yes, as long it's as they a have federal that. document. It's a federal document issued by the, the Department of State. Oh, okay. It's a federal document. So this All is right. what makes it so good. But that doesn't mean you can open carry. You can't do the beautiful thing. The beautiful thing about that, the beautiful thing about that is, is that if let's say, let's say you had a uh, prior felony conviction. All right. Hello. Yeah, that's, I'm still here. A, but, you know, yeah. you have some charges. You went to jail. That said, that non-citizen national passport takes that, takes that away. Wait, the non-citizen you know passport take what away now? The non-citizen national passport. When you get that non-citizen national passport and you go to buy a gun, yeah, okay, it takes your it takes your name and social security number off of the attack systems of the federal government. Okay, but and wait. State. Oh, okay, she, ahead, she, yeah. she, she. Oh, I mean, how how is that possible that they that 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 we can get away with this without our social security number because our social security number is what they use for background checks in order to in order to purchase the gun right wait say that again sorry about it. you said the social security number is what now sir I, I said when we go when we go purchase the gun and if we have the 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 non-citizen national passport. How how are we going to be able to uh, purchase a gun without our social security number? They need that in order to run the background. No, they check. don't. No, they don't. No, they don't, brother. They don't. That's not true. Not true. Okay, help me out with that one. That's why I sent you. I sent you links so you could do your research. Okay. Okay. So, you know, and uh, I, I mean, I don't want to cause controversy on your channel. Right. You know, I'm going to say fair use. You right. Know, and, right, right, right. You know, no, you, no you're good. No, no. It, no. It, what, what, uh, what's the disclaimer? The, you know, the views of the guests 
is not the views of the host. So go ahead and continue. Okay, all right. So okay, so when you go it's a video called the Do Not Detain List, released by high frequency radio, Yusuf L. Right. We, very, you mentioned very, that. Very intelligent brother. Yes. Mm -hmm. it, in the video it's outlined. He he actually quotes constitutional laws, UCC, Uniform Commercial Code Laws, okay, that provide receipts for the non-citizen national passport that gives you precedent or authority and jurisdiction over your name, okay? Because your your capital letter name is a straw man's name connected to that social security number. It's, it's, it's likened to being a slave on a plantation, okay? And you want to try to separate yourself from that number as much as possible because, you know, it's, it's a slave name number. It's a slave number. You know, you want to you want to go into the form of private where you're using your EIN number. You know what I mean? And another thing is, too, is that uh, can you hear me, sir? Yep. Yeah. Oh, when you get your citizen national, non-citizen national passport, you don't have to pay tax. This is why it's ideal if you're a truck driver to go into 1099, because you don't have to pay tax. You're a human being. I'm not a corporate fiction anymore. I am a human being. This is all. This, this is all new to me. I, you know, everything that, everything, you know, everything you know, that you, you everything that you're telling me, man, is all new to me. I never heard of none of this stuff. And, and, I, and you know, I'm gonna tell you something, brother. Uh, I'm gonna say this right here, right? If you got people out here who are charging you a fee for some information to help you be free from servitude, and they're charging you money, that's a person you need to stay away from. But freedom is free, brother. You know what I'm saying? I will give out this information to anybody who receives it. And not only that, but I'll show and prove. You know, I'm not going to say, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, big up myself and big up my chest and say, say that kind of stuff. No, no. You know, I, I'm going I'm, I'm to show you the information, and it's up to you to do your own research, and then you make the choice. But I'm not going to charge you nothing to say, oh, oh, well, this is how you do it. And, you know, charge you $1,500, and I'll help you with the process. No, no I don't do that. I'm not no jack-legged preacher. I'm not no janky promoter or nothing like that, man. It's, this is free information. It's out there. You just have to search for it. All you right. understand? So, you know. All right. So, so you know, the close, uh, in summary, you know, you know in summary uh -huh. to – to for the drivers that are again interested in getting their uh or you know bringing their weapon with them over the road for protection uh across you would, state lines, across yeah. state lines you would suggest to get the non-citizen national passport non-citizen national passport all right That's uh do me all right, so yes, you sir. got me all the links. I will definitely link all of that in the in the description. If you got the website where they can um uh, where they can you Copper know. Moon Copper Copper Moon Shines dot com. That's where that's where all that information is. All right, what's well, going on? Copper Moon Shine. Yeah, go ahead and send all that over to me, bruh. And uh, I sent it to you, sir. No, yep, all right. I sent it to you. All right. And yes, I sir. will get that. I, I will get that information out there. I will do some research uh, myself. And uh, and and yeah, man, that's there's some good. There's some good information. I just, I just want to end with this note, sir. I want to thank you for taking the time out of your day because your time is precious and it's very valuable to take the time out of your day to hear a fellow trucker out here you know, making it happen, living the life. Um, and just, you know, uh, I just thank you, man, you know, for letting me speak and let me voice, you know, some things out there, you know, and it's up to the people, the other truckers out there to do their own research and figure out what, they, what it is that they want to do. You know, whether you want to operate in the public or the private sector. And if you're operating in the public sector, you know, there's a frame of mind that you have to have. You have to have professionalism. You have to have ethics. You need to stay on cold, and you need to use logic. You know, you can't be going out here acting like a three-year-old, showing off, and things like that. You know, you have to have a professional conduct about yourself, or else the foreign agents will get you. You know, so I, I you know, appreciate I it, say, man. Thank you, brother. thank thank you, yes, brother, man. All right, she man, you take it easy, stay safe out there, bro, and uh, we'll get thank back together well. again. We'll get back together again in the future, man.